Well, okay. he, he's the commissioner, so that he would be he could sign it himself, couldn't he? Yeah, but a lot a lot of times people don't have a, a set of the recording documents, meaning uh, who is doing what within their own republic. We're still working on gathering that data. So if we can get yeah. somebody specifically either known like an ambassador or governor at this point, okay. so we can see the minutes of how they form their their assembly or jury, um, we would have to do it that way. Yeah, I'm okay. okay on that. We can work that out. Uh, the other question is, uh, I've got a person that's basically sort of living on the land, uh, has a name and an uh, email address, but no physical address. Could that person be involved with us and, and uh, take position? And actually, uh, they'd like to go out and uh, solicit uh, across the country uh, to a public speaker. Yes, they can. So uh, they yes, get, they, get uh, they can be part of the Republic. Okay, that's good. We'll pass that sure. word on and get them signed up. All right, that's all I had. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. All right, goodbye. Thank you, sir. Um, we're going to bring on area code 503. Go ahead, you have the floor. Hello? Hello? Hey, yes, Jim. Go ahead. This is Jan from Oregon. Hey. I wanted to do a, a, a little summary here to make sure I'm hearing all of this tonight. We still like to get the the on the state level the the federal grand jury to hear cases or to hear uh, uh, to hear complaints basically against the de facto if we need it. Um, yeah. If when we get all of this together, yes, um, and we get recognized in the in the world. Court. Do you believe our uh, is at that time we can expect the military to be on their side? Yes, you can. I mean, because it's a very threatening situation out here with many people, where you know people are just being taken. And um, uh, yeah, I understand that, and that's that's the reason that we feel it's so important to get these these grand juries in place at that level so we can deal with that. Okay. Well, the other thing is, once we get that recognition, that's when you believe that the shift in the international contracts and funding and all that will be in place. Yes. And yeah, once we once we are recognized complete fully, we are, we are already being recognized, but not officially recognized by many because we're they're still watching to see what we're going to do, it, you know, and we've not properly every we haven't got every little detail in place yet, and we need to get that, and it needs to be documented in the congressional record, and that congressional record is our evidence for the court that we've done this according to the will of the people. My next and question that's, that's, for you then is, is even with all of that. Uh, these de facto people that are strongly entrenched with their wealth, you know, that they've hidden around the world with their CAFA funds and 801 case, these judges, they're not going to go lightly, and they're going to backlash. Um, actually, so they, uh, actually, they're looking for a place to leave the country right now. There's 1.1 million officials trying to find a place to leave, leave to go out of the country, and no country will accept them. Oh, yeah, we've been reading that on the Internet. I wonder if that was true or not, so thank you for confirming that. Um, yeah, I've, and I've, that was my other thing, though. But the people that work for them that have, you know, as a, in my case, I have an FBI agent that is, you know, that he would just soon shoot me and look at me. Uh, these people are very angry because uh, do you believe that when they get the real nod, you know, the real understanding do you believe that they will be easy to deal with at that time, or will they be so angry at us for shining that light on? You know, sometimes they want to hurt the messenger. Um, well, that's why we need our uh, our our system in place and our rangers in place. And I've been begging for people to come on and get involved in the ranger program. I'm asking uh, the militias to come and be the peace, help us be the peacekeeping force, or help, help be our peacekeeping force. And uh, the, these are some of the things that we're working on. Uh, and okay. it's up to the people. If they want to get this done, they're going to have to step up to the plate. 
And uh, it's simple as that. And uh, I need the people that can't do it without the people. They've got to step well, up. I, and they got to do it Are these people that are trying to skip the country, uh, are they judges or are they our congressmen? I mean, what? They're all, all they, walks they're of life. I mean, just all people walks of that see the... Yeah, they're they're all throughout the government and the judiciary. They're all through it. And there all, will be some and all of the there, There's such a, a stronghold, you know, especially the ones with their perversions uh, that are going to be, you know, very. They're, they're going to fight to the end. So. They, well, um, they 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 might, but just remember that the greatest power in the universe is on our side. Oh, I, I know that. I'm, I live that every day. <laughs> Believe me, I'm in a situation where I live that every day. Um, That's good. Well, the other thing is then we'll just uh, do the best we can to uh, and, and try to get things uh, We'll do the best we can to get things done for you That's and right. for us. It's not just for you. Well, it's I appreciate for that. us. I, I appreciate your knowledge and wisdom, but it is still on our backs to get it done. That's and uh, we're not we're not here to wait on you. You're there to wait on us. That's exactly right. I'm there as your servant. I, That's simple. I appreciate you being our servant. I, I appreciate that. God bless you. And thank you for the call. That's it for me. Thank you, Kelby. You can take me. I'll put me on mute, or I'll mute myself. Thank you, Janet. Um, hope you have a good day. Now I recognize this next phone number, and I'm going to ask this next phone number. And I know she knows who she is. Make a question only. No statements. <laughs> oh, Kelby, you're so cute. It's Jim, it's it's Val Kirkhart here, Ambassador of Peace and Congresswoman hey, from California. The rep- hey, rep- Val. Good to hear your voice, sir. You too. Um, a lot of really interesting stuff is going on. We've got Chalene Nightingale as our governor in California. Yes. Okay, she also happens to be running as governor for the de facto, okay? Mm-hmm. So um, I didn't know. We've already got her as republic governor. Is there some way we can support her as de facto governor? Because I think she could actually beat these guys. Well, sure, but she can't be both. She can't be both. No, I wouldn't see how. I don't know. <laughs> unless, she, unless she changes the whole state of California. Maybe well, she could. I, I don't know. She has plans maybe, for. Maybe, well, maybe she can do that. So I, I, I don't I know. We'll have to, take, some, <clears throat> have to take a look at that because I'm not sure. <laughs> that kind of. Have you met the, her? Uh, no, I have not. I've talked to her on the phone. Well, you're but, just going to uh, love I, her, Okay. So I, I just wanted to know if there was anything that any any of us on the call could do to actually help her because she's an outstanding individual. And personally, I think she could actually really speed up the process in California if she got elected de facto as well because she's totally. That's, that's where we would start. That's a good place to start. We would put somebody that uh, has the same mindset that we do in, the, in that position and it will start the ball rolling anyway. Oh, you're just going to be so impressed with her. The more you know her, Tim, I just I, I can't believe how lucky we are. Um, also, I, I thought the Hague was a registry. I didn't realize we actually had to be recognized by them. I thought we, we just registered with them. We don't have to be recognized by anybody, but we want the recognition. But did they actually recognize? Any things. Uh, I thought you just registered with them, and they said, okay, we've got you. Well, if that's the way it is, yeah. I'm not an expert on that. I don't know. Okay. um, Maybe that's all it is. That's what I thought it was, but, um, you know, from I I don't know that I know all to be known about that. I just, I I couldn't imagine. There's a lot that I don't know about. I'm learning. (laughs) <laughs> Me too. Um, also, this gathering that you're having in November, in um, in the yeah. middle of November in Utah, what is your intention with that? It's to um, it's it's for recruitment. It's for for the introduction people to the republic and explaining what we're doing and where we're going, what we're going to do, what we're going to do. 
So we should be sending people to that then, right? Sure, absolutely. I okay, think they're, the, they're hoping for 50000 I wasn't clear about that. Also, I had another question for you. Uh, how many people are actually signed up in the Republic now, and how fast are we growing? Uh, that I don't know. You'd have to talk to Kelby, but I've had, a, in the, just in the last few weeks, over 200,000 commitments, but I don't know if they've actually signed up or not. So, Kelby, do you have a comment on that? Um, we are breaking records with the amount of people coming onto the website in the neighborhood of 50 to 75 um, commitments, quote-unquote, a day. And uh, um, but obviously that is not reflective of the, the outside commitments with the arrangements we're working on with many, many groups um, who uh, – are just waiting for us to tell them to go. And um, quite honestly, I'm I'm really encouraged with right where we're at from a standpoint of growth. And uh, I think in the next couple of months, we're going to see an absolute surge because oh, people, are gonna gonna see, see big surge. people are going to see this corporation fall flat on its face. They're going to see people and things changing that they never thought would change in this world. And then all of a sudden the news is going to realize that the news, I believe, person is going to come and support us because there's going to be a viable alternative and they're going to be doing everything they can to push people towards our uh, platform because they don't want to see their country fall any any more than we do. Yep. You yeah, know, yeah, that's that's really really good. So uh, is there some way we could post the numbers or whatever it is on the website as it keeps growing because it's a very amorphous thing? I don't know of anybody that would do that um, or that does do that. Uh, it's it's kind of a thing. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I guess that would have to be up to Tim. I, I, I don't know. I, 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 I just think that knowing if, if we, you know, I, I always just turned on by thermometers and stuff, you know, when we were selling Girl Scout cookies and stuff like that, like how many people are signing up here. Well, some really cool thing has, has happened, Tim, and we um, we got more funding, and we've actually created a new radio show called American Cafe, which is out of Albuquerque. And, All right. And it's really cool. We're talking about what it is to be an American. And, and, and so we're going to be... We're going to be uh, sharing a lot more with you in the very near future, uh, trying to uh, put some more public information out there, and I'll be available for speaking here shortly. We've just been All so right. busy at that time. I'm and, very happy uh, to hear I, that. And we're in the next we're, couple of weeks. We're trying to get on more media. Uh, <laughs> and I, I, we've just been so busy I haven't been able to. But I will. I'm, that's about to start again. Okay, that's terrific. So we can count on you for that? Oh yeah. yeah, we'll be doing that. That's a loaded question, isn't it? Val, I just eighty sixty you on the line. I'm I'm sorry. You know where you were going, and I know where you were going, and I love you, and I appreciate you. But we're going to get to the next caller. Um, area code nine five two. Go ahead. You have the floor. Hello, Tim. This is Karen, Senator from Nevada. Hello, Karen. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I really want to thank you for having this open forum. Uh, I think it's doing a lot to dispel a lot of suspicious minds and fearful minds. And I think if we could keep going in this direction, we really will be able to move forward a lot faster. And if I'm understanding correctly, just for the sake of clarity, um, I guess we're, each republic needs to submit uh an appointee for a district court justice, and from that, uh, the five Supreme Court justices will choose one for each republic, and yes. then from there, that district court justice will call the grand jury that we have assembled already, and from yes. there, we can start moving forward and taking all of the, would they be the local criminal cases or the local de facto cases or any of the cases that are relative all, to 